How much guilt is enough? One of the best um, exposés, or explorations, I suppose, of the subject of guilt occurs in this uh, pair of graphic novels, Mouse, the Mouse uh, Duo, or whatever you want to call it. Uh, it's a couple of graphic novels that are uh, dealing with the Holocaust and a whole pile of subsidiary issues, um, ranging from um, uh, economics to uh, family issues to Jewish guilt uh, to um, the idea of uh, guilt itself. Guilt overlays the entire thing, a phenomenal amount of guilt, and the author, Art Spiegelman, is extremely candid and scathing in examining it. In, uh, in fact, he even gets quite critical of the Jewish people who are the victims, the ultimate victims of all of this, because, of course, Mouse is about the Holocaust, and it's about people who were, through no fault of their own, thrown into hell and perhaps killed. <clears throat> Um, both of his parents were Holocaust survivors, but his parents grew up to, um, well, be pretty much the arch inflictors of guilt. Um, he, the author, Art Spiegelman, um, grew up around uh, Jewish people who had that tradition, that particularly Jewish attitude towards guilt, um, and uh, he hints in a number of really powerful little vignettes in the story um, something along the lines of, well, okay, what the Nazis did to us all was pretty bad, but look at what we're doing to ourselves, to each other here. It's, I won't say that it's, it's as bad, it's, it's not bad, but it's bloody horrible. Um, why are we doing this? And he sort of deals with it in an ambiguous way, because he's not really sure what guilt really ought to be. A, a lot of the questions that he raises in uh, this book are pretty much open-ended. He doesn't answer them, but he just sort of throws them out there for us to, to question. In one sentence, there's a German reporter asking him, should, um, shouldn't Germans today uh, feel guilty about what happened before they were even born? Uh, to which Art Spiegelman says, I don't know. Um... Maybe everybody should feel guilty for everything, forever. Now, that's an interesting point of view, um, and he was kind of saying it as a in, a in a moment of sort of exasperation, a philosophical exasperation, saying, I, "I don't know what the correct amount of guilt is. I honestly don't know," um, because as he as I say, he does explore the devastating implications of too much guilt in someone's life. There's a possibility that. Guilt was so heavily involved in his own mother's suicide, which again he deals with extremely candidly, um, that um, you know it it may simply have been too much, or it may have been the sort of thing that destroys lives. The the guilt that was involved in his mother's suicide, and he even hints that it's entirely possible that there was at least some element of deliberate guilting on behalf of his mother when she committed suicide. Now, Art Spiegelman is Jewish. He, um, I don't know if he's practicing, but he grew up in thinking of himself as a Jew. Um, and <clears throat> he's not trying to condemn the Jewish people for this idea of Jewish guilt. But he is saying that if there is such a thing as a Jewish identity, perhaps we lay this on a little bit too thick. Now, I grew up in the Irish Catholic community, and the Irish Catholic community has a heavy overlay of guilt as well. Um, and it's a different kind of guilt in as much as I understand Jewish guilt. The Catholic guilt seems to say, you're not being moral enough. Anything that you actually enjoy uh, is a sin. You must avoid temptation. And on top of all of this, there's a God up there who knows whatever you do is bad and will judge you for it. And you'll be punished be tossed into the fiery pit upon death uh, if you do too many bad things. Um, Catholic guilt can drive people crazy. Uh, it can destroy lives. I've seen Irish Catholic people uh, seemingly, if, if you ask me, uh, having had their lives destroyed by guilt. Um, 
alcoholism, I think, in the Irish community is in many ways attributable, at least in part, towards an excess of guilt. It's not family members and friends and everything guilting each other the way that, uh, the way that it supposedly takes place in the Jewish community. Well, there is some of that, um, but it's more existential guilt. It's just guilt at being alive, at being human. Um, it's you're not good enough, you'll never be good enough, you're not trying hard enough, uh, you, you lack the proper moral fiber, um, and you're going to be punished. Now, that's my experience with Catholic guilt of the Irish Catholic kind. Um... Having said that, though, I'm, I don't think we can jettison guilt completely, and Spiegelman certainly doesn't say so. He does say that guilt really is a good thing, but it's something that is um, underestimated in its destructive power, and people toss it around far too easily. Um, for example, I go into the kitchen this morning, and I fry myself some bacon and eggs, and I eat them for breakfast. Well, how much guilt should I feel about that? All I did in terms of overt actions was go over to the, the store, pick them off the shelf, fry them up, and consume them. I didn't actually harm anyone or anything. But the fact that I did that contributes to the demand, that contributes to the production of, of animals in factory farms, uh, that sort of thing. Okay, there's something of a butterfly effect there. How many other things do I do throughout the course of any given day that can be traced back to something bad, something evil, some sort of sin. That if I don't do this, um, if I refrain from this one particular action, um, I have, um, I'm less subject to some sort of guilt. Okay, um, I'm typing away on this keypad today. Maybe this keypad was made in China. China is a, is a dictatorship that uses slave labor. We all know of this. Uh, by buying this um, keypad, um, I'm contributing to slavery. Uh, you know, again, the butterfly effect, the guilt butterfly effect, makes just about anything we ever do something that one should legitimately feel guilty about. Guilt is a Pandora's box that will come out and sort of overwhelm us when we open that door. But we have to open it or else we don't have a conscience. So it's a balancing act. How much guilt is enough? How much guilt is too much? Guilt does become toxic. And the deliberate infliction of guilt is something that I think that anyone with a conscience should feel guilty about. Or at least they should examine why they're doing it. Why am I inflicting guilt on someone else? Am I doing it sadistically? It's possible. There are plenty of people whom I've seen. Um, and again, in Spiegelman's story, he's got examples of pretty sadistic guilt trips that people play on each other. And I think that teaching a five-year-old child that um, he's going to go to hell because he uh, pulled a little girl's hair in kindergarten, uh, Catholic guilt of that nature, is... Uh, pretty darn unethical and vicious, if you ask me. <clears throat> Takes place all the time, I'm, I'm afraid. Um, how, much of, how much guilt should we feel? And what happens if we feel all the guilt that it's possible to feel for all the actions that we, uh, that we uh, uh, engage in in our lives? It's virtually impossible to avoid this massive web of guilt, existential guilt. I think we go back to, again, uh, either the Stoic philosophy or the Vedantic philosophy, if you'd like. You do what you can. Uh, because crumpling into a paralyzed fetal ball because of the overwhelming implications of things like morality and ethics, is not an option. Well, I suppose to some people it might be. Suicide might be the right thing to do to, to some people. I don't know. But provided we assume that we're going to continue to operate in this world, we've got to manage this thing called guilt. And we've got to manage this thing called culpability, responsibility, um, accountability, this sort of thing. We've got to be careful about trying to account for too many actions 
at the same time. And by the same token, we've got to be careful. I might guilt somebody for doing something that I believe is unethical. Let's say someone tells a racist joke, and I decide I'm going to blast him with guilt for having done that. Okay, but as, does that person deserve that? Because, again, he's just told a joke and people laughed. By the same token, we know the implications of racist jokes. They shouldn't do things like that. But how many things do I really deserve to be blasted with guilt for? Why am I picking on that one particular attribute? What are the numbers of things I should feel guilty about all the time? How much guilt is enough? When does guilt become toxic? Thank you.